This video is going to be covering back face options. If you have any questions about this video or anything in the shader at all, feel free to join the Discord and ask questions there. Avoid asking questions in the YouTube comments because it's a lot harder to answer them there. Alright, let's get started. So, the model is constructed from polygons, which are these triangles, and each triangle is constructed from vertices, three of them. So there's one at each corner. And the order of these vertices controls whether the mod or whether the polygon is facing one way or the other. So every polygon has a front face and a back face. We're looking at the front faces, and the back faces are on the inside. So if you have if you've ever had like a a shirt or clothes on a model or anything on the model and you look inside it and it's invisible, that's because by default back faces are not rendered just to save performance. So if you go into the rendering options, you can see this cull option. I have it set to off. By default, this is going to be back. So it's culling all back faces. So if I go in here, you'll see nothing. So if you want to use back face textures or whatever I'm about to explain, you need to have cull set to off. So you render both sides. Know that this is slightly more uh, expensive on performance, so only use it if you need it. You do not need to see the inside of your skin. Like, everybody wants to, but you, there's no reason to. All right, let's get started. So on this one, we have a back face texture, which is stars. So you would use this like if you had a jacket or a shirt and you wanted the inside to be a different color. And you can just throw that texture on there. Here you can see I have actually switched it to cull uh, front. So it's actually culling the front faces instead of the back faces. So we can see what the back looks like without having to go inside it. And it's the same stars, but you can see the um, there's sort of this pattern through it. And that's from the detail section up here. So a lot of models you'll add detail textures to, and you might not want the same details on the back as are on the front. So you can't change the details, but you can modify their intensity. So say you had like a fabric detail on the front, but you wanted the inside to just be plain, you could lower your detail intensity and it would be entirely gone. And this does not affect the front side. As you can see, the details are the same on the front no matter what. I'm going to set this to 0.5, switch this back to front face culling, and move to the next one. This is hue shifting, so by default this would look like this, and if you go up here and you enable hue shift, you need hue shift enabled for this to work, you can hue shift the back face. This will not hue shift the front, just the back, so maybe you want the same texture on the front and back, but the inside one to be a different color, you can use hue shifting for that. This is emission, so by default the stars are going to look like this, but maybe you want, you know, maybe you want the inside of your jacket to glow. You can increase the emission a little bit and it'll glow. So this is neat for certain effects, like maybe you want to have like, um, like, like a space background on the, like, like Rosalina, I guess, in uh, Mario Galaxy. You can have, she has like a, the inside of her dress is sort of like space and it glows. So you could have the inside of your jacket with a space texture and like increase the intensity or the emission intensity and have a glowing inside texture. That covers everything in this small section. So if you have any questions about this or anything else in the shader, feel free to direct them to the Discord server. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something.